Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, we will be talking about manual trigger select mode, manual triggers, and the onboard trigger sequencer. We will be focusing on these four capacitive touch sensors right here. Now, when I enable manual trigger select mode, two things happen. First, it mutes any automated trigger generation that would have occurred normally through the audio waveform. This is very useful, especially if you're entering a portion of an audio track where you want to guarantee no effect triggers are being generated. You can enable manual trigger select mode to mute those triggers, and you can disable this and enable this at will. The second thing it does is that it enables the use of the manual trigger button and the onboard trigger sequencer. So I can generate triggers manually at will, and if I don't record the sequence for playback, in about eight seconds, I will get indication that no sequence has been recorded through a double blink of the sync button that you just saw right there. Now the sync button itself is used to provide indication of any triggers, both auto and manually generated, and it's used to resync or begin playback of the current sequence already recorded or in process of being recorded. The pause reset button is used to reset the sequencer in order to prepare the unit to record a new sequence and or pause playback of the sequence currently in operation. Now I know that was a lot of words, so I'll give you an example here in a second. Uh, in general, the sequencer can record up to eight seconds of triggers at a max rate of about 300 beats per minute, which is more than adequate to record, you know, one or two bars worth of triggers. So to generate a trigger here, all I have to do is tap. And the second I hit the sync button, that sequence will be played back in the exact timing that I tapped. I can pause this at any point, triggers will, be, will stop, I can re-kick off the sequencer right there and it'll play back the exact same sequence again and I can re-sync the sequence to make sure it starts playing back from the start by tapping the sync button, sync button. Now I can get out of manual trigger select mode at any point that I want by just tapping the manual trigger select button and you're back to having the box generate automated triggers based on the audio waveform as it does by default.